Welcome to Thursday. Let's see if we can zoom in on him. Kind of. Is he looking? I can't tell if he sees me. It's kind of blurry. All right, well, Thursday classes are over. It is 2.01 p.m., um, 26 degrees, and I am headed home. So that means the week is pretty much done. Um, I have one little practice assignment due tonight, so it take three minutes, I'm gonna do that. It's unlimited attempts too. So we'll get that out of the way. I think we're gonna hang out tonight a little bit. And um, that's probably about it. It's not super eventful today. Anybody see anything familiar? I've been in traffic for like 10 minutes on Summit Street, which is bullshit. But that's that black 528 from Pennsylvania that uh, Luke and I were looking at when he came to Hudson for the first or second time and we found that downtown. So uh, yeah, girl driving it. We're home, it's 3.04. Um, I just had my, I guess, brunch. Breakfast and lunch kind of morph into one meal because I don't have time to eat breakfast before I leave in the morning. I'm gonna go over and get gas because my light came on on the way home. I've got about a little more than an eighth of a tank. Yeah. That's really dirty. Look at the floor in here. Car's only half of it. Look what the car comes in and then drops all over the floor. You can't even see that it says M5. That's disgusting. Well, let's check the temperature and see if we can remedy that. I've had a little ice patch here for the last week. I don't think that's going away anytime soon. It's currently 34 in here. That's not bad. That's conducive to car rinsing. So um, perhaps later we'll see where I get. I'll get some gas. I think Colt's going to come over. We may work on his car if we can warm things up in here. So I'll talk to you from the gas station. We got Alabama plates up there. Alabama, that's something you rarely see in Ohio. I've never been to Alabama before. Yeah, I see an F10. Looks like a 535 on Sport Pack. All right, we got the hose out. It just started spewing water now. The last 20 minutes, I've been using one of these on a very low setting to very very minimally heat the hose up. It was totally frozen solid like a board. Look at this. I had pieces of ice coming out of the hose like that. So now it's on. It's got really hot water. We can see some steam and uh, we can start to thaw things down. Quick little update for you in this video. Here's the 2001 540 i6. It's had its fair share of problems in Ohio. I will tell you about that in a cool update video. But today, she's getting new and audio subwoofers. So that should be a, a very good upgrade. Ryan did that in his M5 a few weeks ago, and it's made it's clean. a huge difference in the low end base response. So I can't wait to have that exact same setup in my car with the DSP. So that should be good, and I look forward to that. So I'll talk to you guys in the next video, uh, and it will be very interesting. Well, there has been a lot. We definitely need to do an update on your car for Ether and yeah, source. Because today we're adding M Audio subs like mine. And now both cars are clean and fairly well dried for the time of year. I actually took my jacket off. It's not, I mean, everything is instantly freezing over here by the door. It's turning that into slush. But it's probably a solid 40 in here. 40. 45, that's the warmest temperatures we've felt outside for quite a while. That's Colt's back seat, that's all the shit that was in his trunk. There's his DSP box and some tools. Because we gotta add M audio up there, and of course we had to dig that out. We ain't gonna make it if you ain't gonna change. And the base is not even up. The base is halfway. Big difference over the DSP. Big difference, it's nice. Yep. We have the same system now, it sounds very good. $185. $185. That's not bad. Hey, we're just leaving Steak and Shake. We got hungry after all of our work, so we came over and got dinner. We're gonna head back now and meet up with Rosman. Morning, so today we got a lot of stuff done. I got the classes out of the way this morning. We came back, washed both the M5 and the 540. Even dried them off pretty well. Then we installed the M audio subs in the uh, 540. So now he's got the uh, pretty much the same audio setup I have, which sounds great. You don't notice a whole lot if the volume's down and you have the bass down, it seems a little tighter. But if you turn it up or give the bass anything past, past half, it sounds really good. So uh, we're happy with that. He got a great deal on those subs too. 
He also ordered door panels. They're on their way. He's going to have four M5 door panels in the car, so they'll have the nice leather on the, on the armrest instead of the harder material. So we'll get those in, get the airbags done, and then it's pretty much back to where it was before the whole Detroit screw up on like December 19th. That's been going on way too long. Um, so today was Thursday. We got that out of the way, finished the week up. Tomorrow's Friday. I have a package coming. Um, it's going to be part of the next big project on the car, but I'm still waiting on the big stuff to come in Monday. I'm thinking um, it's going to be it though. I'm going to go shower. A lot of YouTube stuff came in today. Start working on that. Emails, you know. Then tomorrow, I think we're just going to hang out here. It'll be kind of a catch up day. Oh, we were looking through uh, iPhoto pictures from last summer and Timmy Fest. And it seems so much more open. You could just walk out in your garage, leave the door open, walk out in the driveway, walk out in the yard. I'd be in a foot of snow and I'd freeze to death in 20 minutes if I did that. Now it sucks. That's it. Enough bitching. Talk tomorrow. Good night.